guys, it's me, Jody from O'Neill's Deals. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, and I'm bringing you another thrift haul today. This is Friday's haul from last week. I went Monday through Friday to the Goodwill Outlet, um, and this is from Friday. Uh, if you don't know what the Goodwill Outlet is, it's a place where um, a lot of products that either don't sell at Goodwill or never make it onto the sales floor, those items get sent after Goodwill is done with them or never uses them. Uh, you pay by the pound for products. I go there for clothing and shoes. And it's a really great way to get low cost inventory. If you don't know if you have one in your area, you can just Google Goodwill Outlet and it will come up on there to see the different locations. So this is from Friday. Like I said, I spent $82.92 total. I do have two receipts. The way that my um, bins is doing it is you have 55 people that can go in. You shop for an hour, then you have to check out, and then you get back in line um, or leave, <laughs> whichever way. But this day I did um, go in for two different rounds, so total $82.92. I got 44 pound, 44 and a half pounds of clothing and four pounds of shoes. That equals $1.38 per item. So um, I've already logged all of this stuff. The stuff from um, Thursday ended up being 90 cents per item, which is an absolutely incredible cost of goods. It's very difficult to find anything that low. Even this $1.38. It's the lowest that is in my area, other than getting things for free. So um, all of this stuff will make me a profit pretty much, even if I sell it for five bucks on Poshmark, I'd still make 205 after their fee, and then I'm still making 70 cents profit. So of course that's not what I'm going for, but just saying that if I absolutely needed to, I can still make money on all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I actually have everything right here on my Papazon. Um, and we're going to start with the shoes because they're right on top and then hopefully figure out where I'm going to put off everything. <laughs> so this is a pair of Mahabis, Mahabis, I don't know how to say it, classics. These are size 44. Um, I'm not sure what that equals, but there's definitely going to be a size chart online. They're still really fluffy on the inside, really good looking on the bottom. One of them, yeah, here, has like a hole there, which I think might have been from potentially like a moth or something. It doesn't look like it's from being worn. Um, yeah. Next up is a pair of Nike um, Air Max like running sneakers. These are actually in really good shape. Um, they don't really look like they've really been worn except for maybe a couple of times. They have like a suede type thing on the tongue and these are a size six I think size six they do have a, a replacement insole in there which I will just note in the listing these guys these are Sam Edelman circus there we go um, they're just a really simple ballet flat. They've got a gold detail on the back. These are size eight. These ones came from Goodwill. I already took the Sharpie off the bottom. Well, for the most part, they were in the fashion focus section for $13, but you know, I got four pairs of shoes and I barely paid anything for them. So, you know, here we go. These are a really nice pair of Taos. Teos. I'm not sure. There's a lot of accents there that I probably should have Googled how to say that, but they're like a slightly heeled ankle boot. It's got this ruching here, um, and they're in really great shape. There's a zipper on the side. They have barely been worn. Took some warm into their driveway, got some stones in there, and then decided they didn't really like them. So, yeah. Next, we're going to do bras. I like bras. You guys know from the last video or if you watched anything from me pretty much ever. <laughs> um, first is this Victoria's Secret Sport Eyelet little bra. It has a very distinct laundry detergent smell. Um, these are pretty much all Victoria's Secret today. 
penguin bra. This is a push-up. Oh, I should have said what size. Sorry. Uh, these are our 34B. I don't know what the other one was. This one is a 38C. It's very, like, uniboob. I don't know. The way that the underwire thing is, it's very unusual. Actually, it doesn't have an underwire. Interesting. This one is, like, the most basic one. Um, it is a 36B. This one is a no wire. And then this one, this one was actually with another one that I didn't end up getting because um, it wasn't in as good a condition. 32 Triple D does have some wear along here, but I'm going to sweater shave it. And then this, which I dropped, <laughs> is actually a Sundance bikini top. Size large. I didn't even know that they made swimsuits, but apparently they do. Okay. Next is dresses. I already have everything um, kind of split into categories because I've already entered it into my inventory spreadsheet. And that's just the way that's easiest for me. So um, this is an Ann Taylor dress, size medium. It's like a knit fabric. Nothing too crazy, but someone that works in an office is absolutely going to love it. Um, this is a really cute. Um, Zara girls 11 12 smocked top little like rainbow dress with the floral on the bottom really precious this is a pair of lululemon leggings not leggings they're not leggings they're like wider i've never seen anything like this though the front is a slippery material and then the back is like their classic yoga pant material i've never seen it mixed media quite like that so i'll have to look up the style it's a size four but it's like the older size dot that does not have the style number around it i will look it up on little never fanatics but i'll be interested to see usually buka doesn't sell that great but this is kind of a unique style so it might do okay maybe 25 to 30 30 would be kind of a lot but Okay, this is one of my favorite finds I found. This is an Eileen Fisher. It is brand new with the tag, um, size small. This is an A-line knee length skirt in just like this blue stripe. Really cute. Okay, let's do shorts because I got a nice stack right here. This is a pair of Athleta, no not Athleta, I saw a lot of Athleta Girl on this day, but um, almost all of it was in bad condition, like it like was inside out, and so then I flipped it right side, and there was a stain on it, like I feel like that happened with every single piece, because I had a bunch of it in my cart. This was a Zella Girl, size 10, 12, large girls, like violet running shorts. These are, what is it? It's a Levi's pair of shorts. So there's the orange tab there, which can sometimes be a little bit more sought after. These are a pair of cutoffs that someone did. Um, they're a little interesting. It's almost like they stopped cutting it off. I'm not sure what happened here, but <laughs> I bought them. There's a snow size in it and they've been almost like brought in. I don't know if you can see. Not very well. <laughs> I don't know. I estimated them at a size 25. I'm going to put measurements in the listing. Someone's going to want them. So I bought them. This is a pair of dirty dancing shorts. <laughs> They're a size 910. Super high rise. Look at that cut. It's like crazy um gray wash really interesting looking to me so i bought them it's another pair of zara these are uh, 13 14 little floral denim shorts nothing crazy about them they're a little bit distressed but not like embroidered or anything joe's jeans another pair of shorts 
just a dark wash. These are a 28 or a 6. Um, pants or tops? Let's do tops. I'm going to stand back here because it's closer for me to grab. This is a Zella size medium. Lots of, um, I have several of these hooded long sleeves. It's like running tops. Oh, does that have a tag in it? Oh, it's a Goodwill tag. They wanted $20 for this. That's fun. Another one, this one's Nike. They have all have the uh, hand covers for like when you're running. And then this is another Zella one. This one's a little bit thicker. It's like a heathered material. There's a small, a medium, and a large. So I don't know if they all came from one person or not. Who knows? This is a junk food tee. It says always take the long, long way home. And it's really simple, but it has some distressing along the neckline and the bottom hem. It's a size small. This was not a buy because of the brand, because it's not much of anything. Mango suit size US 8, but look at this pretty embroidery right there. So it's kind of a cropped fit, these tie sleeves, but it's really cute, so I bought it. This is a rails top plaid. Um, if I remember right, there's a stain on it that I need to get out somewhere. I don't know where. Just their classic like tinsel chambray. This is a men's Levi's extra large. Um, kind of western -y print top. It's very lightweight. Um, I actually just sold one of these for like $10, $15, somewhere in there, um, like right after I posted it. So I figured I'd pick up another one. Everlane, size small. This is like a knit short sleeve kind of sweater top. This is a Fender, size large, Fender for Lucky Brand tank. Really cute. Um tags 40 bucks so hopefully I'll get 20 this is a really pretty no I don't need it GNW size 2x which isn't particularly fancy brand or anything but it's got this cute ruffle striped long sleeve top this brand I've never heard of before Nevo, N-I-V-O, nevosports.com. I'll have to look it up. It kind of feels like a golf shirt, potentially. It's a polo, longer sleeves, so we'll find out. <laughs> this is a Duluth Trading Company, size extra large, men's flannel. It's black and white and blue. This is just another Ann Taylor, size extra small. Little hound's tooth shell tank. Do I have a stain on it? Is that a stain right there? No. It's a fuzz, but I happened to see it because, you know, that pattern. Um, okay. This is a Reebok tank top. It's got like a in the back <laughs> size large just simple cute this is a really cool pearl azumi men's shirt size medium but look at these like shiny black accent panels I don't know it's really interesting it's not even like their logo or anything it's just a unique shape Goodwill wanted five bucks. I might have paid that actually. This is an Eileen Fisher hoodie. So we've moved on to sweaters from tops. Eileen Fisher. Yeah, you can't see that. Uh, size medium. It's got some wear, but someone's going to want it for 25 bucks. So I'm happy to pick it up from the bins. This is a Gap size large men's sweater. 
or women's if you want to wear an oversized sweater. That's totally fine too. This is from a mystery day. Um, O2 holiday. 2002. Doesn't feel like it's that old, but the tag still looks good. It's definitely a wool blend. This is a top shop. I do have to tell you guys that Capulet jacket that I showed in my last video, that brown suede one, uh, I ended up finding a big hole in it, so I had to say goodbye. But did find this one, another suede heavy moto jacket. This one's from Topshop. This is a, a pretty old tag, but I believe it's a size small. It's green. It's effortlessly cool, like zippers on the, like someone's going to want it. And I love that Poshmark offers that same shipping for anything that's under five pounds, because that thing's heavy and it would be really expensive to ship on eBay or Mercari. This is a Zara little like tweed jacket size small this is a, I believe a boys yeah it's definitely I'm not adult and a graphic hoodie I believe that's a size small medium and then last four tops is this Vince sweater it's a size medium it's just like a textured oversized hoodie it could use like a I have one of those sweater combs to kind of floof it back to life but yeah. okay I definitely didn't say the, the worst for last it's pretty good I found lots of good jeans today um, or this day <laughs> not today um, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it so let's get to it J brand lots of J brand this is the well, size 29 skinny leg in Avalon wash this is the gap these are a curvy true skinny in a 32 tall so in case you're wondering the difference between a tall and a long in gap here's my gap knowledge um, a tall is going to be longer in the um, from here to the knee as well as from the knee to the end a long is only longer at the end so it's all about those ratios same thing between like a petite and a short uh, petite will be shorter in both the like thigh and in the shin calf there we go. these are just a dark wash skinny jean this is Free People, size 25, long, skinny jeans. These are PacSun. They're just a ankle jegging, size 24. They've got a raw hem. Lots of basic, really good jeans. People are going to snatch these up. I'm so excited to get them all listed. American Eagle. These are the skinny size two. Like, I will sell these for $25 a piece, most of them. Like, they're gonna go, and I know. So, I'm very happy to have spent $82 on all of these. These are a kick boot size two. These are a little bit older of a wash. You can kind of tell that it's like a yellowy toned wash. But, if you're wearing cowboy boots, that's the way to do it. We the Free, size 26. Kind of an off-center button there. And these are a boot cut. These are one of the only pairs that I may have not gotten. But, again, $1.83. $38. I, don't know. I get numbers switched around. It's $38. <laughs> J Brand, size 29. Super skinny in starless wash. And I've already checked all of these for flaws for the most part so yeah. American Eagle skinny size 6 these ones are really cute <laughs> and they have them rolled but I will unroll them these are a bigger pair which I'm always happy to find cut from the cloth these are the Catherine slouchy boyfriend in a size 14 dark wash again 
good. Lots of dark wash. I just kept pulling jeans out. I was like, all right, look at all the jeans. J brand leggings in the starless wash as well. Size 29, I think. He's probably cute from the same person from before. These are probably my favorite pair. I love these so much. <laughs> Cut from the cloth. These are another Catherine pair. These are size 10. Look at these. Oh, oh, oh. Can you see? Flower. Hummingbird. There's a little bumblebee. There's a beetle on this side. And a butterfly. Precious. Truly precious. J Brown. These are the Capri in Ver Verte wash. Not Verde, but Verte. I'm sure that's in Italian, maybe. Verde would be Spanish, so I don't know. 29. Again. 29. These are a pair of Torrid, like they want to be jeans, but they're not. 14. They're like a knit ponty kind of pant. Stretchy. Everyone always wants to know if it's stretchy or not. Those are stretchy. <laughs> J brand. Again. 29. Again. These are the super skinny. An espresso. Isn't an espresso normally a brown color? These are definitely black. It's weird on the washing situation. These are a pair of Lucky Brand size 2 slash 26 ankle brook legging jean. Black. These need to be washed. There's some like something. But I wasn't going to leave them behind. Rag and bone size 29. These are the legging Jean, there's another, some more schmutz on the front. Purple. Very purple. These are cut from the cloth. Again, high rise, ankle skinny, too petite. Nice dark wash. Down to the last couple. These are the most exciting pairs. Save the best for last in this stack. Another pair, Ragged Moan, 29. The other pair was 29 too. Legging jean. Black. Heck yeah! Alright, last pair. Last pair. Oh. La Jeans. I don't know how to say that. There's this crazy string though. Um. That's the fabric content tag. Size 30. Margot ankle high-rise skinny in noir aka black that's it that was the whole haul that was felt like a lot less well i mean i feel like yesterday i my haul was half the size so that makes sense actually um lots of jeans lots of stuff to get listed if you like this video and if you like thrift hauls please hit the thumbs up button um i'll be putting out more content so hit the subscribe while you're down there um and the little notification bell if you want to be notified when i post new videos um in the meantime you can follow me on instagram my link will be down below um it's the same handle it's at o'neill's deals and i will talk to you there have a good one bye